Hey guys, this is Max, and uh, I'm judging Dancing with the Stars tonight. So for now, we've got empty ballroom, and I'm here to answer some of your questions. Great. As we wait, let's say, which couple are you looking forward to seeing perform tonight? Which couple are you looking forward to seeing perform tonight? I'm actually very excited to see everybody perform. You know, I just wanna, I just wanna give the right criticism. I wanna set some couples on their path to you know do things better in the, in, the, in the upcoming weeks i think this is halfway through the season very important time everybody's kind of getting their paces sort of together um difficult week because everybody's switched up so you know i don't think i can mess it up for people per, per se but i think it's going to be interesting um to see what couples will do with my comments. So I'm um, very excited to see everybody. All right. So Christina wants to know, would you ever dance on Dancing with the Stars again? Christina Ratliff. Christina Ratliff wants to know if I'll ever dance on Dancing with the Stars again. Um, no. Well, I mean, I'll dance if needed and if the situation calls for it, um, but not as a pro. As a pro, I don't know, I take up too much space and uh, I feel like the show is great. I feel like the cast is amazing. Um, I feel like there's a lot of very, very talented kids out there that, that are ready to do amazing things. And it's only natural, you know, look, Kobe retired. Why would I come back? <laughs> All right. Now talking about your brother, do you think that you would judge him harder tonight? My brother and Peter are very nervous about me judging tonight because they know that I don't hold back. It's not about you know, I'm not a favoritism type of guy. You know, for me, it's very important that um, that I speak my mind, and uh, I'm the truth and nothing, truth and nothing but the truth type of guy. I didn't know which hand to raise, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, Carl Jess Hines wants to know, though, going back to dancing, when will they see you dance again? Is there an opportunity to see you dance again? Carl, there's a huge opportunity to see me dance again actually with my brother on dancing on on our tour coming up in the summer we're going for a two month tour 46 cities so i don't know where you're from but i'm sure you can make your way out to us and see us it's going to be a fantastic tour um we start in the middle of june and we end in the middle of august um so go to maxinvaltour.com to find out all the information and I think you're going to enjoy yourself tremendously, especially if you love dance. Uh, we're the only dance tour of the summer, um, but we're also going to be an amazing, amazing performance. So you'll have a great time. So tonight's switch up week, um, switch up night. Yes. Some people want to know, do you think that uh, you and the other judges are going to be less critical tonight? Tonight's a switch up night. Will I be less critical without the judges? I feel like, um, you know, they'll do their job the way they do it. They pace themselves as well, I think. But uh, for me, it's a one time deal. So because it's a one time deal, um, I'll just say it how it is. I'll, I, I, I look at my participation on the show as, um, you know, my entire season in two hours. So I just say what I what I say based on what I see in front of me. Uh, I, I'm not thinking about the, their past performances. I'm not going to think about their future performances. My job just starts and ends today. What did you think about Switch Up Week when you were a pro? What did I think about Switch Up Week when I was a pro? I, um, I liked it. I thought it was fun. I thought it was interesting. I thought initially it was just like it throws a wrench in the, in the whole situation. But then if I, I felt like maybe it's a good change in the middle of the season. Everybody gets really, really tired. And um, something like this kind of shakes you up and it sort of gives you like a different sort of different, you know, different en energetic output. You are, uh, you're not bored not bored that's a it's a wrong word to, to use but um, it's a long season for everybody and so something like this in the middle of it actually sort of gets you firing again and um, when you go back to your partners and everything is again very comfortable um, you tend to be a little more excited about the rest of the show so I, I, I like the switch up Jill Bentley st. John wants to know who you think the leaders are at this point in the season Jill Bentley St. John, amazing name by the way, uh, amazing name. I, I feel like, um, what was the question, was my favorite? Yeah, who do you think are the leaders? Well, 
I think the leaders are, you know, Niall, Wanye. Um, I think Paige is an amazing dancer, obviously, so she needs to start, 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 somewhat do, I guess, you know, live up to the expectation, the hype a little bit. Um, but I think she's capable of being a front runner too. Uh, I think uh, Antonio, Von Miller, I, I, I think those guys haven't really done something spectacular yet, but they're more than capable. So I'm kind of waiting for them to do it. Um, maybe this week, you never know. But I feel like, yeah, those those five couples are pretty much uh, pretty much up there. Oh, Jody, Jody's a great dancer too. <clears throat> so Kieran needs to figure out how to bring it out of her maybe a little better but you know tonight it's not Jody and Keo it's Jody and Val so you know that would be interesting to see what kind of performance she'll, she'll come out with with somebody like Val who's won before who's been on the show many many times spent many weeks in the finale in, in finals and you know have gone this far in the competition so we'll see if experience will, will, will say anything it's exciting down there shut up Alan <laughs> Sorry about that. Speaking of the ballroom now, Stefania Presta Greco wants to know how it feels to be back in the ballroom. Stefania, it feels amazing, but you're asking the same question every time. Uh, <laughs> something interesting. Quick, you have you have some time. Some new questions. All right, okay, new questions. A lot of people want to know uh, who do you think the toughest judge is? Bruno, Carrie Ann, or Len? Who who is the toughest judge? Bruno, Carrie Ann, or Len? None. None. I'm the toughest judge. That's uh, that's obvious, and um, and that's why I'm here. So, uh, good luck, everybody. Who do you think is most likely to get a ten tonight or first in the season? Who is most likely to get a first ten of the season and tonight? Well, I mean, if I am to give a ten away, it has to be a fantastic performance. I um, kind of did my homework on what the couples did in the past. So, in the last couple of weeks, um, if I see something that gets the juices going, so to speak. I think it's not it's not too soon for a 10 in this, in, in this season, and um, somebody's gotta earn it, basically. Uh, Julia Spielman wants to know when you started dancing. Julia Spielman. Julia Spielman. Mm -hmm. When did I start dancing? A long time ago, Julia. We just, we don't need to talk about that. That was like decades ago. Nobody, ah. nobody mm -hmm. wants to know that. You're just revealing my age and everything, <laughs> you know? Just look at the look at the flawless skin and and boyish sort of look and rosy cheeks. You don't need to know I danced for 32 years. Let's skip that. Yeah, let's skip that. All right. Uh, people. Are <laughs> we wait? Are we back? Okay. All right, pull her out. Shut up, Alan. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> <laughs> House. Yes. Fuller House, your experience on it. My sure. experience on Fuller House is amazing because I got to do it with my brother, so it's always exciting. We, we have a funny banter that's very natural to, to us, and um, I think it worked. Uh, we had a great time. Obviously, acting is something I'm very much interested in getting into, so, you know, um, a lot more opportunities coming up, but this one was, uh, was a really fun one. Angela Rotundo yeah. wants to know what makes a pro dancer a good teacher. Angela Rotundo, what makes a pro dancer a good teacher? Jill. Oh, we're back. Oh, we're back. And we're back. What's we're the question, back. Andrew, Angela Rotundo? We were talking about uh, becoming a, how you become a good teacher. Does becoming a pro dancer make you a good teacher? Becoming a pro dancer does not make you a good teacher. Uh, spending years and years and years being educated by amazing teachers makes you a good teacher if you're interested in that. Um, Dancing with the Stars is not um, in its job description. It's not if you can dance, we'll take you. It's if you can dance, if you can educate, if you can be patient, which this guy was failing in if uh, you know if you if you know what the end result is supposed to look like then you can be a dancing stars pro unfortunately in the years that we've had the show on the air there were some of us that you know may have had tremendous qualification as a dancer but did not got as a prof as a professional teacher which is also very very important to the show because you have to be responsible to celebrities is there one chance one opportunity to be on dancing with the stars you get paired up with someone who can't really teach you and give you a good chance of winning or going find a competition it's unfair to them so i'm just saying how it is yeah uh if you weren't a dancer what would you be 
If I wasn't a dancer, I would be a chemist. Hmm. That's amazing. No, I, I was a, I was a <laughs> chemistry and biology major since I was in like fifth or sixth grade in uh, in Ukraine back back when we lived there. And uh, when I came to United States, I was very much interested in going to LAU for pharmaceutical department and didn't do it. The rest is history. Um, Taylor Wood, is that what it was? Asked what what was your favorite dance that you did on the show. Ooh, I, uh, my favorite dance that I did on Dancing with the Stars, I actually had a lot of favorite dances. I'm not, you know, I, I've, I try to experiment with so many different things. Um, if people watched Dancing with the Stars in the early seasons, they would remember that some of the pro numbers that we did, I, well, it's not a pat in the back. I'm saying like back when, when pro numbers just started, you know, things to fill airtime with in between the actual dances with celebrities. You know, I was the one who was saying, hey, can I do this, can I do this? So I was given a lot of opportunities to play around with, you know, with tech, with lights, with, with staging itself. So, you know, I had a great time in choreographing numbers that would start on balconies and end up on the floor. We're back on. We're back? All right, so uh, let's do the last question. Um, do you have any advice for the remaining couples? Yes, my advice for remaining couples is to, for celebrities, you know, just remember this is never going to happen again. You're never going to do it again. Under any circumstance, it's never going to be an all-star, all-star season. I don't think it's, it's in the works, so that's the case. You blink, the season is over, you either eliminated or you won and you moved on with life, and you will never do it again, but inevitably, all of you will always miss this. They will, you will always look back and say, I wish I did something better, I wish I enjoyed myself more, I wish I had more fun, because it literally just passed by like this. Um, and to all the pros, it's an opportunity to portray yourself, you know, in a way that you want to be, you want your parents to see you, you want your grandparents to watch you on TV and say, that's my grandchild. Um, you want some of your friends to be proud of what you do and your work, so it's a very responsible sort of, um, um, platform you you have a lot of responsibility but most importantly like I said to the celebrities because it's their only chance at the show that's your responsibility it's not about you it's not about your ego it's not about you trying to prove yourself to anybody it's about you making sure that you're good for your partner um, maybe it seemed like something different but that literally was all, always my only focus is on her whoever she is and on getting whoever she is into the finale or, 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 or give her a chance at, 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 a, at a win. Sometimes maybe it backfired, but that was my, you know, that was the basis of everything Max. You know, I tried to do my best and sometimes, uh, you know, against myself, so to speak. But anyway, we have to sign off because I got to go and tame this, this beast right here. So, uh, because it's going to take up too much too much space on TV and I just want to say thank you for all the questions uh, once again go to maxinvaltour.com and uh, get your tickets and hopefully we'll see you at, at one of the theaters near you I can say that now coming to a theater near you um, but yeah you're gonna have an amazing time I'm gonna go and put on my mean face and be rude to everybody okay, go.